Okay, so we'll just start off with the first question. So if you can please state your name, your role, and how long you've been at Family Councils Ontario. My name is Tiffany Theron, and I'm the Policy and Research Manager at Family Councils Ontario, and I've been with the organization for four years. me that means making sure that family caregivers have the education and the tools to be able to better support their residents wherever they are residing when it comes to long-term care. Uh, I think it's important that caregivers are not only given the support to do their job well but that they're also able to advocate on behalf of residents and be able to spot gaps in the sector as well as things in their own homes that they can help improve. So we've seen quite a few caregivers do an amazing job in spotting things that can uh, be improved or you know, uh, submitting ideas or feedback on how the sector can better serve residents. In regards to our organization, I would want people to know that uh, there doesn't have to be a certain size of an organization or staff team to make a great impact. Uh, we've seen the uh, Family Council of Ontario as a whole grow over the years, but all of our staff uh, individuals have been very dedicated to sharing the stories, the voices, experiences of residents, caregivers, and staff. Uh, because we all know that they are a piece of the puzzle when it comes to long-term care. So we can't help one group without helping the others as well. So I, I think that's a, a major thing when it comes to our organization that we are looking at big picture and the changing landscape of the sector and how that impacts our service users. And then I, I guess just in terms of family councils, I'd love people to understand uh, how much unpaid work family caregivers contribute to the sector when it comes to providing physical, psychosocial uh, support to residents. And a lot of them do that without any complaints or um, uh, any complaints or, or real uh, negative uh, feedback. They love caring for residents and a lot of them have also stepped up to support residents that aren't their biological blood. So we've seen a lot of chosen family members and individuals that just care about the whole environment at their long-term care home, even beyond uh, either the passing or um, sometimes a resident might move on to another uh, long-term care home. But we've seen them continue to be dedicated and committed and wanting to be informed and wanting to be a part of the process. So I, I think that's something that uh, I'd love to see more credit being given to caregivers.